Okay, so the next uh, QGIS tool or plugin to export your map to uh, online or to your website is called QGIS 2 Web, and you can access it via the plugins uh, repository. If you just type in QGIS 2 Web in your search bar, it'll pop up. So activate that if you need to, install it. And what that'll do is give you access to a new menu under your your web menu called Create a Web Map. Okay, so we've got a we're going to start with a new project, and I'm just going to add that same data that we were using previously. So it's just a point file and a, a polygon. So let's just uh, you know, get that colored up so you can see that it will export it. Um, colored up. Uh, let's get this two. Outline boundary purple and maybe a hatch line. See how that looks. Okay. And then so I want to rename this to what about a combination. Accommodation. And then I want to select the accommodation. Okay, so then I just want to to select out the accommodation features. So I'll go into my Generals tab on the Query Builder, I'm going to say Description equals, we just want accommodation to show. And this is just to, to show you that you can you can select a, a layer, select out features in a layer without actually creating a new layer, and they will be ex exported in this, in this uh, package or this plugin. Okay, so the accommodation, uh, let's maybe just change that uh, style also. Let's just make it a, a big square. And th this uh, this plugin has its limitations in in how it can export your your styling. So, for instance, I've just got some orange blocks here, but I have found that when I start um, overlaying SVG images into these blocks to make them look um, more interesting or, or or more descriptive of what the feature is, that doesn't necessarily come through. It'll happily export uh, squares like this and, and colors as well. I'll just uh, maybe change those colors so you can see what I mean. Um, so we just go categorize, classify. Uh, we want to classify the, the description. No, we want to classify the name. Sorry, let's classify those. Okay, let's just remove this one. We don't need that. Okay, so it'll bring through that, but it won't necessarily bring through the SVG logo on top of it. So different colors, but not um, the SVG logo. And then also with regards to, I haven't found that the, the labeling tool is fantastic. For instance, you when you when you put a buffer on it and uh, you offset it slightly, it looks great in QGIS. Uh, we need to actually select something to label. It looks okay in QGIS, but when you export it, the, the text comes through the web browser. It drops the, the halo, and it's it's not the greatest. Okay, okay, so we've got that. Um, Two layers. We're going to export that to the internet or to to a a, a HTML text file with a, m a bunch of folders and um, see how that looks. So, from the web menu, select Create a Web Map. And that'll open up this dialog, which is quite a big box. I'm just going to minimize mine slightly. Okay, and the settings. We can maybe just say Preview on Startup. Um, yeah, you know, that you may want to leave unchecked. It's fine. It's up to you, really. So now, what it, what what is it going to ask us to do? We want to tell it to. Okay, we've got your accommodation. Let's label on on a inline label. Let's do that. Uh, there's a couple other settings you can change. Oh, we need to select the folder that we're going to export to. So I want to export it to my web map folder. Just select that folder, that should be fine. So I'm going to select that folder. So now it's going to create a whole lot of subfolders and the HTML text which um, is going to be exported to that folder, which you will then be able to upload to an FTP server and the web browser will be able to interpret that information into a map. Okay, so we've got that in the right place. Just want to upload the preview to see what it looks like. Okay, so it looks pretty basic. Uh, it has a cool option. It's given you access to and a whole bunch of other layers. So these are the same as the open 
open layers that stream in using that open layers plugin. So if we select open street map OSM and say update, then it gives us a background. So we don't once again we don't need access to a huge amounts of data because this is going to be a a URL which is programmed and loaded into the HTML text which the explorer will then read in and stream in. So the program uh, just exports the, the vector stuff and the colors and how you've labeled it. Now you see what I mean about the text. So if we zoom in slightly, the text is a bit all over the place. Now that's unfortunate because it's a bit of a simple tool and doesn't have the same amount of development as, as QGIS does. So the, the, the labeling uh, application doesn't necessarily recognize other labels, etc. But, you know, this is, it is what it is. Okay, so what you can do to turn on your legend, let's come back here, and where it says add layers, you say expanded, and you update that preview, there we go, so now it's added that, that layer there, just zoom in a bit, okay, that sort of thing, and some other options, so highlight on hover, so what happens with this option if we update our preview, if we hover over a feature, it highlights it. Okay, but unfortunately, what that does is then block out anything underneath it. So that might not be an option for you. Okay, so now when we click update, uh, sorry, not update, when we export this, it's going to create a whole new folder. And there it is there. So we've now got our little legend in there. And there's a, also a measuring tool. But I'm sure you can figure it out. Okay, so. Yeah, so that's a uh, that's the tool, and a fairly nice way to upload your um, your maps onto the internet. Great. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for thanks for following this tutorial. I hope it's hope it's been fairly useful. Give me a shout if you have any questions. Cheers.